Hi guys, uh, another video for HowDigitalPaint.com. This will be a quick one. Uh, it's just basically talking about a lot of people have been asking what this is. So on the screen you can see this heads up display of a menu and I'm able to choose different brushes with it. And all I've really done is customize an Intuos 4 feature known as the radial menu and made it synchronized with the actions that I've set up. So you can see here I have actions such as choosing a hard round solid brush, soft texture, fill, all these different things that you'll set up based on based on what you need, particular brushes that you always want to access. So I'll just show you how to set that up. So first of all you want to make an action for your brush. So make a new action, give it a name for the brush. So I'll just make this choose wavy brush. Give it a hotkey so that you're able to assign it a function within the radial menu. And record. Okay, so this function will select the brush and then select the wavy tool preset. Then stop the action. I'll just delete the select spot healing brush. And now we have it. So if I now want to bind this to my radial menu for the Intuos 4, go into Wacom Tablet Properties, and then you'll see I've already set up some here. But just to show you how to set it up, I'll do it now. So, keystroke, and then we set it to Control F12. Just clear that. Control F12, and we hold it wavy brush. Okay. And now that that's set, close that. Now let's test it out. So now you can see it chooses my wavy brush. And all it is is just a really uh, convenient convenient way of choosing different things. There is already the right click menu for choosing brush presets, which is just by right clicking. But um, I like I like the radio menu because not only does it look fancy, it has I can also choose different things such as hard erase and all that. If you don't have an Intuos 4 or Intuos 3 with a, like a pop-up thing, don't be too worried because the Actions palette set to button mode is a really nice feature that you can easily access. So just as easily really as the radial menu, I can use the same functions. So I'll now show you how to set up the Intuos 3. So this is the Intuos 3 interface for the Wacom tablet properties. I set the pop-up menu to the trigger button on the Wacom stylus. And now you'll see that the, the pop-up menu looks different to the Intuos 4. The advantage of the Intuos 4 is that it looks nicer, it's a bit easier to select the things, but the advantage of the Intuos 3 pop-up menu is the ability to assign more than 8 functions. Now you can see it's the same idea, all it is is just synchronized with my actions hotkeys, and I've set it up much the same way as the Intuos 4. And I'll just show you how we do that. And yeah, you can see how many options I have there. I've got almost, I think, over 10 options, which is heaps. So now looking how to set that up. 
the same same thing. All it is is rather than the radial menu, it's just called the pop up menu, and we're setting it up by adding a new function, setting it to a setting it to a keystroke, giving it a name, and then the and I've also changed the font so that it reads clearer on screen and change the font size so just synchronize that with the actions that you've set up and you can have multiple setups of these actions I've, I've created multiple action sets as well as multiple sets for my preferences so you just say, save those in the preference file utility and I use that for different tasks that I'm doing.